Okay, now in this episode, we are going to learn something about two-dimensional array. So if you want to save some data in the form of table, then the two-dimensional array is a very useful resource in C program. So by using a two-dimensional array, you can save the data in rows and columns. Suppose, consider this example. Suppose we have to save the details of a two students. We have to save the roll number and the mark obtained for a single subject. So we have to save data something like this. First one is this 34 representing the roll number and second one is the mark obtained. And this is the details of the second student. 48. Okay. So if you want to save data something like this this is this this is actually something called a table notation or we can simply call this is a matrix a matrix is a mathematical concept that contain elements are arranged in rows and columns so here this contain this data actually contain two rows and two columns this one representing a rows and the vertical element representing the column so this contain two rows and two columns so you can save this this type of data that is that means data that contain rows and columns using a two dimensional array so you can by using a single dimensional array you can save only data in row wise that means the data in horizontal position okay so this is this uh, this is something representing the details of two students the first row representing the details of the first student and the second row representing the details of the second student so if you use the one dimensional array for saving the details of two students we have to declare two array and the first array we have to save the roll number and mark of the student and we have to declare another array and that array in that array we have to save the details of the second student so by using a two dimensional array there is no need to declare two array there is only one array is needed and we can save a data in the form of a table using two dimensional array so here i am going to declare a two dimensional array so here all the datas are integers so i declare an integer array and here i am going to specify the so here by declaring while declaring a two dimensional array you have to specify two dimension first one is the dimension that representing the number of rows and second one is the number of columns okay so n is an array which is capable of holding four rows and four columns okay so i declare just a two dimensional array which is of integer type so this is this consists of four rows and four columns that are capable of holding four rows and four columns so here i am going to save the details of the first student that means here i am going to save the first row into this array so how we can save it so here i am going to save the roll number of the first student n of zero zero means this will representing the zero to row and zero to column equal to first element 34 so what this means zero is the first one is the row position and second one is the column position so this is the first element position in this two dimensional array zero zero so that means 34 look at this look at this array look at this matrix notation here 34 is located in 0 to row and 0 to column this is the 0 to row and the vertical element is the 0 to column so I save 34 in the first location and for saving the second value that means the the, the mark of the first student so n of 0 that means this is again the 0 to row and it is comes to the first column and save the data the data is 45 okay so look at this arrangement 
consider the value 45 so this is located in the zeroth row but it is located in the first column this is the first zero to column and this is the first column so we have to save it in 0 1 so for saving value 23 that means the roll number of the second student we have to write like this n of 23 located in first row and zero to column so we can write it like this and provide the value 23 and finally we have to save the last last value 48 48 located in first row and first column so n of 1 1 n of 1 1 equal to 48 okay so this is how we save data into a two dimensional array so you can save the data into two dimensional array using a loop statement you have to use nested loop to save data and retrieve data back from a two dimensional array so here i'm going to display the value so here i'm going to display the details of the first student student 1 student 1 roll number equal to percentage d we have to display the first roll number and the first roll, roll number also we have to display the mark here and mark okay we save the first roll number in in the zero zero position of this two dimensional array so we have to display that one so put a comma here so n of zero zero okay and we have to display the mark the mark is located in n of zero one so n of zero and one okay in the same way we have to display the details of the second student so student 2 here the second student roll number is located in 1 0 and his mark is located in 1 1 here it is not I 1 okay now I comment these two lines now compile the program the program compilation is success now execute it run it yeah we got the output student 1 roll number 34 and mark there is nothing display for mark but why this n of 0 1 yeah here we just forget to add the control statement percentage d here also equal to percentage d Okay, save the program and compile it again. Now run it. Yeah, now we got the output. The details of first student roll number 34, mark 45, and second student roll number 23 and mark 48. Okay, this is how we using. See here for this for saving the four different value, we just declare only one element, set to dimensional array. That is the advantage of using two dimensional array. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates.